Hello and welcome to one of those videos where I say I haven't really got much to show you because I haven't got anything done and everything's been bad and I haven't got much done. Right. So, I actually have got some stuff done, so I'm going to show it to you. Right, so the first of the things to show you is this. It's a big swinging axe trap for my dungeon, hence the dungeon room. And this is made from a toy axe, a Mantic Dungeon Saga base, and some bits of Lego at the top here, which you can't quite see because it's out of frame. For the mechanism, there's also um, a bit of a orc war buggy wheel there for the mechanism as well. And yet this is your uh, big old pendulum swinging from the ceiling and um, chopping adventure is in half axe. Looks pretty good um, with the top out of frame like that. Yeah, that's, that's the sort of thing it does. It it swings. Shall I get a figure to show you in scale with something? Perhaps I shall. Ah yes, here comes Dragon Bronzebeard. Walking right into a trap. He's not actually prone to do that. Anyway, yeah, that's how big it is compared to a dwarf. So pretty substantial as you can see. And the idea is uh, when this trap is, trap is sprung, I will put that down on the board and the uh, area of the base is, is pretty much the area of effect for it. So yeah, base contact with that equals axe damage. Whoop! And other sound effects like that. So the sort of theme for the video today is traps. I'll put that back there where it is uh, not particularly well lit because of that wall there. I don't think the dungeon wall setup is a particularly good idea for these videos. Right, what else have we got? Well, in a similar vein... Sorry, Dragon, you're going to get hit by another trap. Uh, this is my swinging spiky ball trap. Again, it's a uh, Mantic dungeon saga base there. Bit of a flight stand and the ball itself which is off another toy ball and chain uh, sort of morning star accessory for an action figure cut the handle off and uh, stuck it like that so it looks like a swinging ball um, again not much more to say about that really so uh, put that over there and again, similar vein again, my swinging log trap. This one was a bit more involved. This is made from the same kind of base, a bit of flight stand, and a rather gnarled looking twig that I uh, carved the ends off to make it like a log. Then stuck some wire in and surrounded the wire with plumb line to make it look like rope. So, swinging log, log trap, yep. Sorry, Dragon, another trap's hit you. And finally... Ha! <laughs> boulder trap. I've actually got another boulder trap, uh, which I might show you in another video, but this is one I had to hand. This is a toy rock from I don't know what. It's uh, slightly rubbery. And it painted up rather well. And it rolls. Which is nice, although um, I'm not really into um, rolling into people's nicely painted miniatures. Especially not my own. Yeah, not bad. Nice little thing. I found this in a charity shop. Amongst some other junk. Right. And that's just about it for those. I've got one more thing to show you. But I'm not going to explain what this is because it's a spoiler for an upcoming game and I know my players watch this and some of them will probably watch it before the game. So uh, I'm just going to put that there and explain what it's made of and uh, any speculation as to what it is 
can be left in the comments section if you would like. So, what's it made of? Well, it is made from a Megablox cartwheel, a couple of uh, Citadel shields, a small bit of plastic, and the same kind of base from the same kind of thing as before. Right, uh, just past the five minute mark there. Um, this is normally the point where I'd go and grab some other item to uh, sort of lengthen the video out a bit. So let's do that, see if we can get it to 10 minutes and not go over, because it's supposed to be a short video. So, okay, here we go. Well, since I've got the dungeon walls out, let's show you, and I can't remember if I've shown you this before, piles of skulls. And uh, with the usual level of preparation I have, I have not made a note of who made these to tell you. I will um, stick a link to their website in the description, but for now I can't remember. Uh, yeah, piles of skulls. Um, bit close of my hand there. You needed that. So, yeah, this one's quite a few of them that have got bits to go in corners, which is nice. As you can see, that one that fits in a corner. Here's a regular kind of skull pile. This is quite nice. I like these. And more. I didn't really have as much to say about these as I thought I might, uh, but they're nice and they're made by a company who I can't remember who are. I'm really sorry guys, I will put a link in the description. Another one to go in a corner there. Yeah, I, I like these. Uh, very useful for having rooms with big piles of skulls in. You know, if you're into that in your dungeon. That's what that would be like. Uh, let's bring Dragon back back in for scale. There you go. Let's lengthen the video out to uh, just gone seven minutes. Probably should have prepared more to say about them. Um, probably could have looked up and reminded myself who makes them. Can't remember. We'll post the link. Very sorry. So, you know what? I need a goodbye catchphrase. 